Hello and good morning. Uh, today we're going to be covering a Milgard Ultra fiberglass patio door install. Uh, and so most patio doors are done in the back. So let's go around back and check out the existing door and uh, we'll get a shot of the, the door we're putting in. So follow me. So here's the, uh, the frame with the panels removed. There's the panels resting here. So this is the existing door. You can see Pete in there. He's laying down some drop cloths. He's already got one uh, set here on the exterior. And so from here, uh, let's get installing. So let's talk about the construction of this door. I've got a corner cut here. Uh, this is actually a Milgard Essence corner cut. So this is their fiberglass wood product. Uh, you can see here, here's the wood, obviously vertical grain dug fir. Uh, and then all of this white part you see here and all of this kind of gray part, this is all the poltruded fiberglass. So one of the things that sets this fiberglass apart from your typical fiberglass entry door is this is again what I refer to as poltruded fiberglass. So when this material is, is made, they actually pull a bunch of literally hundreds of individual fiberglass fibers, uh, first through like a vat of epoxy and then through a dye that's in this shape uh, and as the material, the epoxy impregnated material goes through the dye, the dye has a heating element and the epoxy uh, sets or hardens once it goes through the dye and the heating element. So what ends up happening is you have all these individual fibers, epoxy impregnated fibers that, you know, that are all individual, they come through the dye and then they go through the dye on the other end as a hard finished fiber, poltruded fiberglass product, which is what you see here. All right, so the door is in for the most part. It's, it's been set uh, and adjusted. We saw some interior and exterior trim to do, but for the most part, the door is in. Uh, so if you'll come in, you can get a little, little detail. So the door is made entirely out of the poltruded fiberglass. Uh, all of these lineals here, the top, uh, the head, the jams, even the threshold is uh, all poultry to fiberglass. So from the exterior, one of the things uh, I, that I think looks really nice on these doors is they do, they have a flush glazed glass. So most other vendors, full view patio doors, the glass is held in by like a plastic trim ring. And you go to any big box store, look at their full view doors, you'll see this pla the plastic trim ring going around the door. It's raised above, you know, it's raised above the door panel. It, and in my opinion, they look, they don't look too great. Uh, the way the glass is set in this, it's called flush glazed. Even though this isn't really flush, it is a, a much cleaner look. You don't have any raised trim ring or anything on the panel. So it looks really nice. Okay, so the next thing we'll talk about is the hardware on the door. So on this door and all of Milgard's hinge patio doors, they use a multi-point lock. So the way it works is when you throw the handle up and you turn a uh, thumb turn deadbolt on the inside, the door is locked. So we'll, we'll just walk you through the process. This is the, the main active door. You rotate the handle, open it like a normal door. And so unlock the passive door, you turn the handle like you would operate the door normally, and the door opens. So the thing that's keeping the door, the passive door locked, are some shoot bolts that shoot into the head in the sill. So when you rotate the handle up, these shoot bolts are thrown. There's a nice little strike plate up here, and on the bottom of the door, 
to catch the shoot bolts. If you can maybe get a close up up here. So when I lock the door, you throw the handle and that shoot bolt shoots into the, the head up here. And there's another uh, one on the bottom of the door as well. So once this is this little thing right here is depressed, you know, when the door is closed, this will be depressed. You rotate the handle up and this uh, bolt is thrown as well as this bolt down here and this bolt in the middle. And you throw the thumb turn and now the door is locked. You unlock the thumb turn and you rotate the handle and all of the bolts are retracted. So now here I'll show you throw the handle and then lock the thumb turn and now the door is locked. Very simple, secure. That's how you work the door. And, and the last thing we'll cover is uh, the hinges on this door. Again, uh, all of Milgard's hinge patio doors, they use the same kind of hinge system. And they're adjustable. The top and bottom hinges are adjustable such that you can move them you move them in and out like that, the top and the bottom one. The middle one, you can actually, you can raise and lower the door. So it's, it's a very nice uh, hinge system. There are a few other vendors that use adjustable hinges like this, but, but not a lot. Uh, so we can open the door and show you a little detail. So on this, on the top and the bottom hinge, they're, they're pretty much identical. There's this little Allen key in here. So when you turn that, depending on which way you turn it, it'll move the door in and out. And then on this uh, middle hinge, it's kind of difficult to show. On the bottom, there's a little cover plate. You pop that off and there's an Allen key inside of here that when you adjust it, it'll, it'll raise this hinge up and down. Okay, so that about covers the quick little review of the Milgard Ultra French door system. Uh, so I think the customers are going to be really happy with this door. Their old door, the jams were rotted, it didn't open properly. Uh, they just had a lot of issues with it. So these doors, just like all Milgard product, they have a full lifetime warranty. Uh, if there's any warranty issue down the road related to this door, Milgard will cover it as well as the labor to replace it. Um, but I don't really anticipate that being an issue down the line just because of the way the door is constructed. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like or subscribe.